Hello, this is Eric of Not BIOS, and you may have a problem entering the BIOS of your system that you have a blank screen. Well, for any NVIDIA cards, this is an instruction video. If you have an AMD card, you may need an update to the firmware for your graphics card. Now let's get started. Then I went to the MSI B550 ITX board. This is where the problem started. Same graphics card, same monitor, but it's not necessarily the fault of the motherboard itself. However, it's something to do with firmware. We have the MSI MPG B550 ITX motherboard in here. However, we've got a bit of an issue. So right now I just started the computer One thing we'll notice right off the bat, you do not see the BIOS whatsoever. It goes right to the Windows loading screen. The problem is here that despite it being a display port issue, even using the HDMI port, I was still not able to get a BIOS display. And well, I contacted MSI support. They mentioned it's probably the video card, something to do with the BIOS of the video card, which I already feared could be. I looked for an update, no update. And um, then I also tried resetting the CMOS. Did not work. The CMOS, of course, is your BIOS. The next step was, well, I tried a different graphics card. It worked. An older NVIDIA card. Get that one. Who would have figured? So right now, I'm at the link I'm going to provide in the description and I got pinned in comments. That link is going to take you here. It happens that whether you use DisplayPort or HDMI, I had a blank screen in my BIOS. So anyways, now I click download on that previous screen I was on. And now it says, oh, allow me to download, but sometimes it'll say keep and uh, have some sort of security thing that uh, wants to make sure you actually want to download this driver. Then you're going to click on this that you downloaded or in your file, wherever it may show. And you can see right here, this tool will detect whether your GPU firmware is updated or needs an update support uh, display port 1.3 or 1.4, but firmware update is needed and such. Okay. So now I click next. It's gonna flicker, go on blank screen while it's checking. Do not panic. This is normal. I've already updated my card, so it actually doesn't need an update. And this is how I actually test out to find if this actually works to fix my graphics card. Your system may not allow you to reset normally after. You may have to do a hard reset after this is done. So it says you already have an updated firmware. Okay, so it's finished updating. Now I'm going to close out of everything. And see, now I'm locked out of the start. I cannot restart the computer normally. So what I have to do, well, can't even hit the start key. So I'm going to have to actually press the power button on the computer tower. You hold it for five seconds. It'll give you a hard reset. You can power it off, whatever works for you. So now I hard reset it. And now it's rebooting. And being rebooting, you'll see that I can actually enter the BIOS. Before, it was this blank. So right now I can see this, you lose power, a firmware update can scrap your equipment. So be calm, take your time, let it check your screen go blank several times. Now, if everything works out, you should have a BIOS display just like everyone else. This is Eric of not BIOS. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something today and that this solves your problem. Have yourselves. A wonderful day. This is not BIOS. Tech and hardware.